I just sawed through one of the brake lines. And this battery is completely dead. I'm wearing rubber gloves just in case. We're moving! Huh? <laughs> Today is officially day one of actually starting any work on the van. I'm super excited. To start off with, Jehu's advised that I get a jet washer and clean all the underneath of the bus. Any loose dirt, anything that's going to get me grimy as we remove the engine. I'm excited. I'm excited to get this back on the road again. The bus is clean. The underside is clean and we are ready to remove the engine. First of all, I'm gonna take the bumper and this tow plate off. We're ready to take the final bolts out and then the engine should just slip out. <laughs> So gas tank, and then this, this. We basically need to clear this whole center section. I'm gonna angle grind these little weld spots now. Joe, who's just told me the next thing I could do tonight is unscrew this and try and take the gas tank out. I have a saw, I'm gonna disconnect the fuel line with this. Never used one before. We've done a lot today. I've taken the engine out and the gas tank and I've started clearing this area underneath. And then the plan tomorrow is we'll fully clear out the bottom space and measure out and order the aluminium that we need to like build the box that's gonna house the Tesla batteries. And then we're gonna figure out how to bolt that on. I'm really excited that we're, this is finally underway. Day one complete. This is fun because this is stuff I don't really know how to do. I'm just kind of figuring it out as I go along. But I think that's how you learn things in life is just Dive in the deep end. I'm ready for day two. Today I have a lot of work to do. I'm gonna be sawing all of these metal beams under the van. I wanna clear out this entire middle section ready to build in our battery box. I've just gone and got some new blades for the angle grinder and for this electric saw. These are the tools I'm gonna be using. Yesterday was my first day using an angle grinder. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully we make some progress. made my first blunder. Check this out. I just sawed through one of the brake lines and it's now dripping brake fluid. <clears throat> Making progress. And I'm gonna take off these additional gas tanks which have been fitted for my cooker and fridge and stuff. <laughs> we finally managed to get this gas tank out. That was a mission, absolute mission.
almost finished clearing the middle. We've had another little problem, a little mistake I've made, which was, so I've cut through the brake line again, but I was trying to cut these pipes up here and accidentally slipped and nicked the brake fluid again. So I'm filling up this cut with brake fluid. Thankfully, I think we need to replace all these lines anyway. So yeah, it's not a major problem, but this is all part of uh, amateur mechanics. I think we are almost ready to measure up for where the battery boxes need to go. I've cleared as much as I possibly can. Here's where the engine's been removed, the fuel tank. This center section is where I've taken all the piping and cables and everything that used to be there. Prepared all of these. And this is the last little bit I did. I had to cut this back. I think we're ready to measure up. We're gonna build the boxes out of cardboard and put them in place just to double check. And then we're gonna take those measurements, order in the aluminum sheeting, and then we're gonna build the boxes. If you didn't See, these are the batteries, the Tesla batteries that are going inside, and there's 14. Let's do 28 so that we have room to run a cable from here to here. So six and a half inches by 12 inches. 20, 28. I'll see how much cardboard we have. But I could at least build one of these and a few of these. Okay, I'm going out to the dumpsters to find some cardboard so we can uh, mock up these battery boxes. Managed to grab all of this, which I'm hoping will be enough. So I'm gonna try and build all the boxes tonight and then I can put them all in position tomorrow and we can just check if it all works out as planned. It's gonna take a while. That took a lot longer than I thought. I learned a lot about making cardboard boxes. It's not fully accurate. I don't know how important that is, but I think it will do. I'm gonna try and put it in place now and see how this looks underneath the van. Instead of um, measuring it all out and folding, what I've done is I've cut the two main, like the top and bottom of the box and then the sides. My theory is if I sellotape them all together, I can fold them up and then like tape it all together. It probably won't be as strong, but I think it will be more accurate. Oh, way better. Way, way better. Just got uh, six more of those to make. I've literally spent four hours cutting cardboard. All I have to show for it is this. These are like all measured out, ready to be stuck together. It is 5 a.m. I've finally finished the replicas of all of the battery boxes. And we're gonna be lining them all up underneath here, figure out exactly where they're gonna go and if they're all gonna fit. I've never spent so long making cardboard boxes in my entire life. That was a long night. End of day two, prepping the bus ready for the electric conversion. I have taped all of the cardboard replica battery boxes into place just to see if it's gonna work. So let's say here's negative or positive, it doesn't matter. If it goes through the module, then it can go through this guy. It goes through this one. Boom, this is the other one that goes to the, the module up there. Ah, oh, he's okay. Yeah. Put it in there. It's gonna be tough. There's not a lot of room, is there? We've got our measurements for the boxes. Yeah, four like that. And then maybe, maybe one that way. Or should we do some of the sides or something? So we're ordering a 48 by 48 inch aluminium sheet and then we'll test that out and see if that works. There's still quite a bit of cleaning and fitting to do so my task before the sun sets is to clean all of this grease off because we're going to start working in here a lot. engine cleaner, my grease cleaner, 
and a scrubbing brush and then the jet wash. And I'm trying to do this before it gets dark. I've actually never done this before, but this says I need to leave it on for 15 minutes before washing it off. So I better get going. We are losing light. I'm gonna start this side. pushed my van back into the workshop. I've lifted it back up on the lift and um, I'm having a proper look at it now. And it's not perfect, but this was all thick with grease. This was all thick with grease. So, you know, it's, it's clean enough. The next job is I need to rerun the brake cables. They were coming across here out of this little pipe, see this? And then across the middle section, but we've had to clean all this out to put the aluminium boxes in. So this needs to come out. So I'm gonna angle grind this out now. And then I need to drill holes. And I've bought three more of these uh, rods to run, one for the clutch cable and one for each brake either side. So I need to drill here, then I need to drill here, then it needs to go through here, and then bend down from here, through this beam, through this beam, and then this is gonna replace where this pipe is, and that's gonna feed the brake cable through, and then the same on the other side. So new brake cables are in here. When we can drop the car, we'll take the wheels off and refit the brakes before we start building the boxes out of these aluminium sheets which arrived in aluminium, aluminium, same thing. So Joe, who just had a good idea that for the two boxes here, why don't we just, instead of build two separate boxes, build a box that big. So we were originally gonna have four this size, instead just have two, like double the width. Love it. Jehu is a night owl like me. It's 3 a.m. and he's only going home now. It is 4.30 in the morning. I've finished my goal for tonight, which was to drill and thread these tubes, which are done now. So this is gonna be the clutch cable. This is gonna be the left brake. This is gonna be the right brake. So yeah, these brakes are gonna thread through these holes. Weird, the first one, Went a lot better. The second one I, yeah, I ended up having to drill much bigger holes and jiggle it around and stuff, but I got it in. I love learning new stuff. I've just run the clutch cable through my new tube I put in last night. And I'm just tightening the clutch cable here. been fiddling with little bits and just correcting things and figuring a few issues out just you know just small tweaks that need to happen before we put the boxes in I am now finally drawing out the measurements onto these aluminium sheets we have I actually increased the size from 6.5 inches by the way I'm having to do everything in inches which it's crazy to me, I feel like the metric system for small measurements and stuff works way better, but all the tape measures are in inches, everything we order it is in inches, so anyway. I figured out with these five sheets, all the exact measurements we need, which gives us two quadruple boxes, two double boxes, and two single boxes. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 batteries in total. Had a few problems with the cable. What, what's that other? What's this one called? It's like an upside down jigsaw, yeah. but the blade was wobbly. So we're going to try this. But I guess the problem still is the long, the long length. There's a lot of long length. Jehu has had a genius idea. So we've been scratching on our heads trying to figure out. Okay, how do we efficiently saw this aluminium into the sizes for the box? He's got this saw and suggested that we. Can cut a groove in a board of wood and screw this underneath and basically use it as a tabletop saw so we can guide the aluminium sheets over it. So that's the plan. I 
didn't go great. Firstly, I, I stupidly didn't put this on and I got aluminium flakes in my eyes. And then secondly, as I pushed away the first piece, as you saw, the, the side got caught and that sucks. Red hot aluminium flakes hurt. Ooh. I have the pieces for the first box. I've got the bottom, sides, and uh, then on the top. This is gonna go smooth, smooth as butter. I'm absolutely loving this. I know we've pretty much just got started. We've just been preparing the van and getting all the gear in and stuff, but um, I love Jehu for many reasons. Firstly, I didn't know he was a night owl, like he's been staying up with me till like 3 a.m. just because he does. And secondly, I love how his mind works, like he loves hacking things and just coming up with the most inventive ways to solve problems. I need to learn more from his kind of ways of hacking because I relate to that. I feel like that's something we share in common, but he's he's uh, so much more knowledgeable. If you haven't already, go check out Jehu's YouTube channel. He does like tons of battery hacking. He's like the expert at like pulling things apart and building like power walls and gets loads of great deals on like recycled battery packs and just, yeah. Like I said, he hacks a bunch of stuff and he's, uh, yeah, if you're, if you're into that kind of thing, Go check him out, go and subscribe. And uh, yeah, he's been very generous. Let me use his workshop and coach me and teach me his ways and how to convert uh, a van to fully electric. Oh, I can't wait. I cannot wait to be cruising around in a fully electric camper van. This is gonna be amazing. <laughs> Up to length the frame that we're going to be building the box around and now I am just uh, doing the kind of 45 degree corners so they all fit together and then I'm going to be drilling holes in, sh in aluminium sheeting and then we'll tap in all the screws and momentarily we should have a box built. I'm just preparing the last few little bits. Also, these are rails that are gonna be halfway up the inside of the box for the batteries to rest on. I've cut all of the L bracket ends that we're gonna like build the frame of the box with. But what we just figured out is it's gonna be difficult to kind of keep the frame in place whilst we drill into it. So that's what we're gonna try and do now. This is a new thing for you as well. Yeah, I never tried it. So you just don't wanna heat the aluminium up too much because it'll melt the actual... No, the aluminium will melt. The problem is with the aluminium is that it's, it's really hard to get it hot because it's such a good conductor. Uh, so all that heat is just dissipating this way. This isn't working. Yeah. Right, we've given up on the brazing idea. Didn't work. But this is the new plan. I think this is much better. Holding it on with clamps whilst we drill in the corner screws, which then holds the frame to the plate. <laughs> I did not get as far as I'd hoped on this session at the workshop. I've managed to build a box without the top or bottom. Um, I wanted to get these rails in so I could put the batteries in place, but we don't have the right screws and I just broke a screw and everything. So this is kind of, it's almost there. Next session, I'll be back, put the rails in, we'll test the batteries out and then 
I'll find the most efficient way to make more boxes because this was kind of fiddly and I was figuring things out but now I have I'm gonna try and get a efficient production line to make the other boxes but yeah it's been it's been mildly frustrating but productive -ish. guys we have a problem I've just been testing the batteries and this battery is completely dead some coolant leaked inside and corroded it and uh could be a goner Likely.